Hello my fellow gamers and welcome back for another video filled with 8 tips for playing before we leave. My name is Peter and during this video I will teach you about island fertilities, advanced food recipes, production specializations, use of clothing, tech research and many more useful tips and tricks. You can find a link to my 15 starting tips and even a full starting guide up here on the right and in the description below. Probably the most important advanced tip about playing before we leave is to respect the environment of plants and islands you're building on. Take a look at the fertility bar up here to the right and plan out the production for that island in advance. You won't be able to see all the island fertilities unless you have researched the prerequisite technologies, so keep that in mind. Each game starts you off with a few basic fertilities on your home island like potatoes, vegetables and tea. First two are basic foods and ingredients for more complex food products which you can research later on and I will talk about them more in this video. Tea is more of a commodity which helps to increase peeps happiness. The reason I am explaining all of this is so that you understand the need for island specialization. By following the fertilities each island has and the resources which are on its surface, you can pick a specialization for that island, especially because some fertilities are unique to a single island on each plant. If you have played any Anno games before, then you are familiar with this concept. I personally enjoy Anno games a lot and have made guides and tutorials for that game as well, link is up here. But back to the matter at hand. The island specialization is doubly true in the case of the desert island. It offers fertility for fruit and sand as a resource. If you produce large quantities of fruit, you can then send it to the other islands as a delicacy to increase the peeps happiness through food variety, something I have explained in the previous video. Sand on the other hand is required to produce glass, which is a key resource in advanced building upgrades and construction of totally new ones from higher tech tiers. This is why you need to try and limit the production of other foods and goods on a desert island so you can employ your peeps in the production of these specific goods and food. And that leads me to my second point of this video. Population of peeps are your workforce, since you have to start over on each island but with no shelter to provide the starting population, it is much slower and harder to expand on new islands. And you really do not want to have a huge population on any single island as it is really hard to feed all the peeps, clothe them and keep them happy all at the same time. There is also the overpopulation mechanic to consider and it is another reason why specialization for high productivity per island is a really good idea. You want a small workforce making foods and goods only that island can provide and importing everything else with a small home production just so you have a baseline to keep things running smoothly. And since I have mentioned clothing, this is a must for your peeps or they will suffer from heat strokes at the desert island and frostbite on the arctic one. You need to research clothing using the red technology and then build its whole production chain starting with cotton. To prevent supply problems, I would advise adding a whole new port right next to the warehouse which is set to receive clothing and maybe glass for example. This way your peeps will move the goods to that warehouse and then to the port for shipping much faster and peeps will have access to clothing even while the other port is backed up with all the trade going on. In my next video about before we leave, I will go far more in depth on trade routes, multiple ports, moving goods, supplying islands and everything else you should know about trade in this game. I hope you have enjoyed this video so far and won't mind me asking you to help me out a bit by liking this video, commenting about your experiences with this or other similar games like Anno and using the subscribe and bell icon if you would like to see more such videos in the future. Another important tip about the desert island is to keep upgrading your huts instead of adding new ones to increase the population. Firstly, because you do not want to be taking up precious space on the island and secondly, because you will end up covering more of the island's hexes with roads and no matter how much you try not to, you will end up using some of the grassland hexes for that. And as I explained before, you will need those grasslands to grow fruit. On that note, fruit and other foods can be used to produce more satisfying meals, meals which will make your population happier and better fed. This of course requires you to unlock a few technologies from the technology tree, cooking being the one which unlocks the kitchen and the smoothie maker where you can produce meals and smoothies. The downside, as there always is one, is the spread of pollution to the surrounding tiles. But it is quite worth it. A happy peep is a hard working peep, which means production efficiency bonuses. You can choose one island to produce these, 
minimizing the pollution problem and then use the trade ships to spread the joy of cold smoothies to the other peeps on the planet. Another pollution producer is the generator. What few players realize is that after unlocking the generators in the technology tree, you can move your generator to the mountains next to the production buildings for a nice boost in efficiency due to the proximity bonuses. This also lets you get rid of the old one and that gets rid of the pollution which is so close to your shelter at the start of the game. One more thing I want to advise you on is Red Research Collection. You start to find it when you colonize the second island, the desert one for example, but you can find more of it on the other islands on your first planet. It is needed for research of technologies alongside the green one in a mix or by itself, so add to it to a trade route and ship it off to your starting island and then use it for all the tech you need to advance. Do not hoard it, you won't lack it at any point. There is plenty of it for all your research needs. Before we leave is just a joy to play and it is the reason why I am happy to share these tips with you. Feel free to write your own tips for new players in the comments or even suggestions about game mechanics you want me to explain in more detail in future videos. I want to thank you for watching and I wish you all happy gaming.